Inside OPSU, I'm Danae Moore, the Campus Communications Director, and today we're on campus for the 11th Annual Chili Cook-Off. We're going to get the chance to take a look behind the scenes and meet some of the competitors, maybe even get a few of their secret ingredients. Also later today we'll be watching and catching in action the football team as they take on the Texas Wesleyan for their last home football game. Stay tuned and enjoy. We're here at the Chili Kickoff and first up we're going to meet with the PBL group. Good morning, how are y'all? Good morning, doing very well. Tell us a little bit about the organization that you're representing. So this is the Phi Beta Lambda group for the School of Business and Technology and I think their motto is they do stuff but they're a competition oriented organization to help the students um, do better in business environments. They also get to do a lot of networking uh, at their different events and get the opportunity to be in front of a lot of folks from a lot of different companies which should help them later in their life. Definitely good preparation for the future, all Absolutely. of it. Absolutely. Okay, I notice a lot of purple. Do you want to fill us in on those details? And I think that they are, I think each of the groups can sponsor something and in this case PBL is sponsoring and uh, putting their donations towards the March of Dimes. Um, this month is uh, Premature Baby Awareness Month and that's why they're sponsoring it. Very cool. So today is their perp out. They're rocking purple. I know the football team's going to have some stickers on the back of their helmets. I noticed the cheerleaders have purple bows. They've decorated around the stadium with purple. And one other really neat thing, all the donations, taste testing's free, but any donations today are also going to go towards PBL and their collection for March of Dimes as well. So it's a really neat, a really right. neat thing that you guys are doing. All right, I'll let everyone introduce themselves real quick, and then I want to know the secret ingredients of your chili, if you can share. We can't share because I don't know. <laughs> the, the, the person who made it is actually not here right now. Okay, well, we'll start off. We'll let you introduce yourself just in case any viewers don't know you. Okay, I'm Jason Hitch, and I'm a spouse of Sarah Hitch, who's one of the teachers here. Okay, an advisor of PBL as an well, right? An advisor of PBL, absolutely. Okay. Sure. Hello, I'm Brian Martinez. Um, I've been a part of this prep out committee for the last three years, and this is really the biggest one because we were only one of three schools across the nation who got a $1,000 grant, so that's pretty insane. So yeah. Very cool. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Chloe Bly, and I'm from Oakley, Kansas. I'm Trey Hayden. I'm also from Oakley, Kansas. This is my second year in PBL here, and kind of the first year that I'm really getting involved in everything so very good we're glad to have you okay we have a little neat story I want to make sure that we share okay um, and then we have a couple others we need to introduce as well but I talked to mr. winger and he made the chili right that's correct he made the chili and he shared with me yesterday that he was in on the very first chili cook-off and this is the 11th today we have about 29 or 30 contestants somewhere in there mm -hmm. and he was saying at the very first one which I think you're a part of as well I they was. had about three contestants three or four yeah and he said they brought home the gold they did <laughs> yep, so they are we still rocking the same recipe do we I, know this it's evolved a little bit over time just looking at it I, I remember the first one was more of a traditional chili and this one um, has got some added ingredients and that the meat's chunked up differently so He's changed a little bit over time. I think, you know, you learn something every year and also get to experimenting when you're making chili. You know how that goes. Yes. Um, Is there anything extra special about it that we want to mention? The, the whole jalapenos really give it a little extra kick. Okay. Okay. Very cool. And let's introduce a couple of our other Absolutely. members of the team. We'll step over here and let y'all introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Ryan Winger. I'm uh, David Winger is my dad. and. I'm uh, the workhorse around here. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Teague Winger. David is my husband, and so I've been at Chili Cook-Off, not every year, but on and off for since the beginning. Okay, very good. We're glad to have you all, and we wish you guys the best today. Oh, well, thank you very much. Thank you for being a part of it. All right. Hi, guys. How are you? Good. Old. Yeah. It is a little chilly out, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, well, what organization are you representing? We'll let you introduce yourselves. We're representing ourselves. I'm Jaden Valdez. I'm William Weaver. Very cool. Is this your first time to participate in the chili cook-off? Yes. I usually participate with the Boy Scout troop here in Gaim or Goodwell, Troop 142. Uh -huh. I used to be a part of that. Now I moved over to a different troop. 
Okay, is there anything special about your chili that you want to share with us? Uh, we decided that we weren't going to follow a recipe this year. So if you win, you have no idea how to make it again? Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Pretty much. Well, we're very glad for you to be here. We're excited to, it looks like it's going to be a fun time today, and we appreciate your participation. Thank you very much. Glad to be here. You guys have a good day. You too. Tell us a little bit about who you're representing, and we'll let you introduce yourselves. Okay, I am Shelly Eatonboro, and... I'm Debbie Mason. And we are here because we were challenged by Dr. Fulton to make better chili than our husbands. Okay, that is super fun. How's that going so far? Do you have any feelings about this? We're going to win. There's exactly. not even a question, right? Right. <laughs> and they're really going to be upset. Okay, is there any secret ingredients or anything that you want to mention or that you can tell, or is it all top secret? All top, all top secret. You can't let the recipe get out and for the guys to know next year, Heavens right? No. Okay, um, what else? Are there any bets going on? Any fun stuff like that? What happens if you, when you beat them, then what's going to happen? We haven't been told what happens, but something will happen. Bragging rights for sure. Of course. Okay, and your booth is super cute. You have one other team member that's not here yes. that, that helped with that part of Danielle it Danielle well. Harland is still working on setup. She is en route. And yeah, we've got to thank her tons for helping us decorate today. Well, we're glad you're participating and best wishes beating the guys. Of thank course. You. Easy job. <laughs> <laughs> Already done. You guys have a great day. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Okay, we're joined by the cheer team. I'll let y'all introduce yourselves. I'm Hannah Johnson. I'm from Texoma, Oklahoma. I'm Darley Carrillo. I'm from Guyman, Oklahoma. I'm Sarah Murphy, and I'm from Texoma, Oklahoma. Are you ready to win a little chili cook-off today? Oh, yeah. Okay, Definitely. tell us about your chili. Is there any secret ingredient or anything you can share that's going to make you stand apart from the others? Well, I mean, I can't really tell you about our secret ingredient, but I can guarantee that it's probably the best chili on this grass right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and you guys are rocking the purple bows today. Yes. And I know you guys are joining with PBL as they do the perp out and support March of Dimes. Is there anything else you want to share along those lines either? Um, also, watch out during the game. We'll be throwing a lot of um, March of Dimes merchandise, like footballs and stuff like that. So um, maybe if you're lucky, you'll catch one. Okay, cool. Well, we appreciate you guys. We're excited to get over and watch the last home game of the season. It's going to be a good one. Anything else you guys want to add? Uh, go Aggies! We've moved on down the line, and we have another contestant with us. I'll let you introduce yourself. Stacy Whaler. Erica Whaler. Carmen Whaler. Okay, and what group are y'all representing? Just us in Whalerville. Been here three times now. Very cool, very cool. And you are a student here, yes, right? Yes, I'm a senior. Okay, and what are you majoring in? I'm Where a you? double major in biology and chemistry. Very cool. And you guys are from Kansas? Yes, we're from Southwest Kansas at Sublette. Okay. And just a shout out to the sophomore that's not here, our son somewhere. <laughs> very nice. Is there anything about your chili that you want to share with us what's going to make you stand apart? No, the kids seem to enjoy it, so we thought we'd come down and try to win something. That's about it. Well, we're very excited to have you guys here. We appreciate your participation continued year after year. It's a little chilly out here today. I just hope we brought enough. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's been very popular in the past, so that could be a, that could be a problem if everyone's coming by to see you again this year. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys enjoy your day, and we appreciate you being here. Well, thank you. I'm joined again by another contestant. I'm Larry Wiggins. Uh, I'm with the Shooting Sports, new program that we're putting together here. And this is Hi, I'm Ryan. I'm one of the uh, fac uh, students, staff, faculty that I help out with the club as much as I can. Okay. Tell us a little bit about the Shooting Sports Club. It's a new organization on campus and there are a lot of big plans. New Shooting Sports Club on campus, uh, complete with uh, education facilities, with uh, a wildlife management degree, wildlife biology, and a game warden degree that goes along with it, uh, along with a Olympic style shooting ranges for shotgun, rifle, pistol, uh, 3D archery, sporting clays, uh, uh, 
You name it. Name it. It's out there. We will have an educational facility that's out there with it. Uh, we hope to have competitive shooting teams within a year and uh, go and bring home some first place trophies for Panhandle State. Awesome. And another really neat part of it, it's all open to the public, correct? It, it will be open to the public. Uh, when the facility is put together and everything, it will be open to the uh, public. And uh, it should be something that uh, it's close to 200 mile, 150, 200 mile to any other facility like this. So that'll be a great educational use great educational, for, the, for the public. Great educational as facility well as the for the school, uh, the surrounding areas, 4-H, high schools, uh, FFA, uh, law enforcement. Everybody will be able to use it. Very neat. And you are a member of the shooting sports organization now. So what does this mean to you to have this opportunity? I mean, it gives me an opportunity to explore the ranges of a shooting sports competitive team. It gives me another club to be a, or a team to be a part of. It gives me a chance to compete and show out how good we are at shooting and how awesome we are here at Panhandle. Also, it might give me some job opportunities of working at that facility and teaching other people. Very neat, very neat. Okay, let's switch directions. Let's talk about your chili. Okay. Did you make it? Can you tell us a little bit about it? Oh, I, I made it. Uh, I have a recipe that I varied from uh, another, uh, some other people uh, that uh, competes in chili cook-offs, and I took my own version from that. And uh, it has just basic ingredients for chili is basic what it is. No it's secret or no special secret, anything? No secret. It's just chili and cumin, oregano, uh, salt, pepper, uh, garlic, onion, jalapenos. All right. It sounds yummy. I hope we get back around to try it soon. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate it. Have a thank great day. Thank you for everything that you do for the school. And Appreciate it. Thank you for being a part of the chili cook-off. You bet. Thank you. Next contestant, tell us about yourself. Okay, we are Chili the Kid. Okay. Pretty creative name. I'm sure we probably Googled it. One of our uh, team members, Chet, who's not here, came up with it, but I'm sure he probably just looked it up on the internet. Don't tell anybody. Right? <laughs> um, we've got Corey. Corey Winters. Winters. Chad's in the background. You. He's real shy. Hi, Chad. Hi. <laughs> Come here, and then I'm Brian, and we are just a group of um, local people. We either live here now or we grew up around this area and we come back to participate in the event okay. and cook a little chili. Okay. Um, our chili's nothing really all that special. It's just a recipe that Chad came up with. Um, <laughs> it's a Chad recipe. <laughs> Maybe we should be asking you about yeah. the chili. It is special, right? <laughs> when we cooked it a little earlier this week and sampled some, it's good. But uh, I don't think there's any secret secret ingredients, really. Just your, just your run-of-the-mill chili. Yeah. Anything y'all want to add? No, Brian did a good job. Are you representing a business or just being Chad, awesome? Chad, Chad owns a business, I own a business, and Brian works for PTCI. Okay, yeah. okay, cool. And I know you're an alumni as well. Yeah. How awesome is it to come back and see this atmosphere? It's really Chad and I. Chad's an alumni as well. Um, Chad's that's not here, also went to school at Panhandle for a while, and uh, we were just discussing how we wish that something like this had been going on when we went to school here because we'd have been up here for sure. Um, we came quite a bit. Uh, I can't remember if it started last year or the year before that we started tailgating. But last year. Was it last yes. year? So we came to some events last year as well, and I, I think that it really improves attendance for the game. And of Definitely. course, it's just fun for the fans, yeah, fun it's for the community. It's the same awesome atmosphere. Yeah, it's the same environment you get at a, at a D1 school or a college that's in a little bit bigger town. So it's nice to see it come to Goodwell and give the people around here something to do. And then uh, as a as a side as a side. Uh, trip up here for the chili you also get to come and cheer for the local team that's um doing pretty good this yeah, year right definitely so, last home game and yeah. they've really been really been doing awesome i'm looking forward to seeing what yeah, goes on today same here I'm, I'm excited to see how it turns out but the event itself is awesome and uh um, i think the new leadership of the college is is making a lot of changes which people people don't always like change but i think that it's for the better um attendance is up from what i've heard mm -hmm. big time enrollment is up so it's hard to argue with those changes right that's I right. enjoy it. Yeah. That's right. Well, we're glad to have y'all. We wish you the best. Anything else you want to add? Brian did a good job. I don't think so. <laughs> Thank vote, you, guys. Vote for, are you going to vote for our chili? What number do we need to vote uh, for? 22. Vote for 22. 22. 22. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank y'all. Our next contestant is the baseball team. Yes. And Go Aggies. I'll let you introduce yourself okay. Tell and tell us a little bit about the chili. All right. Uh, I'm Coach Keith Schultz. Um, it's my fourth year here. 
And um, our chili, it's made uh, the normal way. So we get some, uh, we stir up some <laughs> vegetables and then we cut up some meat and then we put some salt on it. And then the secret ingredient is uh, from, it's actually an input from uh, Mr. Winger. He said cans and cans of beanie weenies. So that's what we went with this year. So <laughs> we'll see how we place. Okay, but you're not from right around here, correct? Right. So Just is there here. is there anything that you bring from your home state to add um, to it? I'm from Louisiana, and they do have a couple of spicy surprises in there. But I feel no, like you're not telling us the whole story. There may not be, may or may not be gator meat or nutria or <laughs> wild boar or anything like that. So. Okay, any awesome things about the baseball team? I know there's a lot of awesome things. Anything you want to awesome. share with us um, as the, you know, it's not quite season time yet, but you're just coming off the fall mm -hmm. practices and stuff. Anything you want to um, share with us now? We're, we're getting better every year. We're getting better every week. Uh, our guys can't wait to come back from break and kind of play together at the same time. So um, we're making strides forward and we're just, Waiting on January 26th, okay. game one. Okay, awesome. Do you want to introduce this, your pal over here? Oh, Mr. Dan, Mr. No Man Dan. I've been dying to talk to No Man Dan. No Man Dan, give the camera a wave. We're so excited to introduce our new mascot. Can you show us a few of your moves? I've seen you at the football games, basketball games, doing a few cheer stunts, things like that. All right, well, we are so excited to get to have you on camera. Is there anything else you want to add? Nope. Go Aggies. We okay. Big win today. That's big right. Win. That's right. Thanks, Snowman Dan, and thank you guys. Best wishes with Absolutely. your chili today. Thanks thank for you. being a part of the contest. Thank you. Our next contestant is Family Ties. Welcome. Thank you. I'll let you introduce yourself. I'm Terry Branson, and I'm here representing my whole family. We're all in the construction business. <laughs> okay, and tell us about your connection to Panhandle State. Uh, I've had several family members uh, attend college here and graduate from here. Very neat. And is entering the chili cook-off just something you guys enjoy doing? Yes, I made a chili recipe about five or six years ago, and everybody kept wanting me to enter a chili cook-off, so we did last year, and we won. Congratulations, so. <laughs> and I love your apron. And I won this last year, <laughs> so I thought I better represent. Yeah, that's right, <laughs> that's right. Very cool. Well, I, I don't know, but can you share any of your secret ingredients? What makes your chili stand apart? Well, what we think is my husband raises his own beef, and I use the meat that he raises, so I think that makes it extra special. Very cool. <laughs> well, we, we're sure glad to get to talk to you, and we appreciate your continued support of the contest and sure. we wish you the best today. Well thank you. We've moved on down to the next contestant. They're representing an organization here at the school. Tell us about the organization. Our organization is HALO, it's a Hispanic leadership organization and we we, we provide, we do usually do activities for the Hispanic Heritage Month and we do community service also and we try to get the students involved in anything we can and help them be successful. Okay, cool. Um, let, let me let you guys introduce yourselves. Okay. Well, my name is Amy Torres and I'm a senior and I'm the vice president of HALO. Okay. My name is Selena Gaussin. I'm the secretary for HALO and I'm also a senior. Okay, and Amy, you just had a little excitement going on. Tell us about your summer and what you won. I was in, it's basically like a Jeopardy, it was a Hispanic college quiz and Ms. Mora gave me the opportunity to go and I ended up winning first place, a uh, national championship and so That's I awesome. won uh, $4,500 scholarship money. Very so, cool, yeah. we're very proud to have you, you represent us. All right, talking about your chili, did y'all make it? Yes, we actually spent Friday last, or it was last like night. most of us. Yeah and we cut up the meat and everybody volunteered to do cut up the onion was the hardest part because i was crying <laughs> but it was it's a great turned out great so. okay any secret ingredients we, we can't say? talk about them um, it's top secret yeah, it's top secret <laughs> okay yeah. well we wish you guys the best and thanks for your time thank you thank you 
The next competitor is the Alumni Association here on campus. I have Nick Tuttle who's going to share a little bit of information with us. Right now we're uh, the Alumni Association is working on main project is uh, upgrading our database so we can really engage and connect reconnect with all of our alumni and uh, other than that we've got memberships online and taking donations for that if you go to alumni.opsu.edu you can check that out um, there's so much very exciting things going on right now i know it's very important to y'all to reach out and let everybody know what's happening and offer for them to get to be a part of it yeah yeah it's i mean Having like the tailgates and having us out here at the tailgates and, and just the engagements increasing, especially with all the activities going on. So it's great to try to reconnect with all of our alumni. One of my favorite things that you guys are doing is the Monday Munch. And we talked about that with Diane a little bit, but it's just a really neat opportunity to connect the students with the alumni. And I think they both have a lot to offer each other. Oh yeah, the Monday Munch. That's uh, one thing Diane really started. She's got uh, She's got alumni who've, who've been real successful. She's bringing them, bringing them back and uh, bringing them together with some of the, the schools to uh, just that way they can kind of connect and they can, they can share their experience and they can um, just kind of move forward from there. Okay, moving over to the Chile competition. Is it right that you guys have been competing since the beginning of the actual competition? I haven't been here the whole time, but uh, Beth, she, she's been here since the beginning when there was only three competitors. So Very neat, very neat. Um, do you know, has she been making the chili the whole time? Um, for the whole time, I believe she's made, made the chili. There's, uh, we've, we've had some people come in and help with uh, making the chili this time. and uh, So as far as ingredients, I think they're all kind of secret ingredients. Oh, okay, okay. Anything else you'd like to share? Uh, just uh, check out alumni.opsu.edu and you can see what we've got going on. So, All right, thank you and best wishes. Thanks, Sine. We're back and we have the other half of the wife-husband challenge here. I'll let you guys introduce yourselves. Roger Edenborough. Todd Mason. And you guys are just representing yourselves, not a specific business or anything like that. Correct. Okay, what can you tell us about your chili? You'd have to ask Todd. Uh, you'd have to ask Roger. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's gonna be good is it top it. secret or what? It is a little top secret. You can't give out any no. details. Are there any wagers? They said they weren't really sure what the what the competition was going to mean in the end, other than really bragging sure. rights. <clears throat> yeah, it's just just a pride factor. Yeah. Definitely. Okay, well, anything else you guys want to share with us today? No, we can't learn any secrets about no. the chili. How many years have you been competing? This is not your first year. This is the first, year. This is the first year for this team. Okay. So. I've never competed before. I was a judge, but I've never competed. Okay, so how is it being on the other side of things? It's miserable about bowl 20. <laughs> I cannot imagine. And this year, do you know we're supposed to have about 29 entries? I know. I feel sorry for him. <laughs> it's awesome. I'm glad to see so much participation, but I couldn't imagine. Yeah. Yeah. It was so are you excited to get to be on this side of it then? Yes. Very okay. much so. Okay. Anything else? I think that ought to do it. Okay. Well, we wish you the best. Thanks for being a part of it. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Our next competitor is PTCI. Hello. Welcome. How Hello. are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Um, do you want to talk about your chili a little bit first of all? Okay. Well, we've named it... Uh, just Veterans Chili, just in honor of Veterans Day. We've got some, you know, American flags out, put a little patriotism in, in it. I don't know that there's any particular ingredient that would make it more patriotic than any other chili, but that's it just is. what we named it, it in honor is, of. Right? It just is, so that's just the way it is today. So. Okay, so any secret ingredients you want to throw out there to us? Well, Randy Jacobs uh, from our marketing department was the person who put it together, and okay. he would know all the deep secrets of it. I. I did get a taste of it while he was making it, and it is absolutely delicious. So, uh, I guess the secret ingredient is Randy's love. Perfect, <laughs> perfect. And this is definitely not your first year to participate in the chili cook-off. Do you know how many years PTCI has been entering? I'm not sure how many. I know uh, in the this is my fourth year. I think this is maybe the tenth year that the company's been doing it. So. Um, yeah, we've been a big part of it. We love being a part of everything here at OPSU and just being a participate, 
a participant, supporting the college and everything that they're involving in all the kids. So awesome. we love being a part of it. And you guys are great partners. I mean, we so appreciate all your help. You do so much here on campus. I mean, just this show is one way we can spread the word of what we're doing here. And we appreciate you guys being a part of that and helping us make that happen. Well, we appreciate you guys. And like I said, we enjoy doing it. So glad to be here. Very good. Okay, tell us what's going on at PTCI right now. Well, right now is a big time in our year. Of course, uh, iPhone just came out, the iPhone 8, and also the iPhone 10 as well. We have a great uh, buy one, get one uh, deal. If you're a person, you know, we've really focused our, our, our marketing on the iPhone the last few years, but maybe you're a person who just loves the Android, the Samsung, you know, the buy one, get one, you can get that. Maybe one of you likes the iPhone, likes Apple products, uh -huh. one of them likes the Android. You can each get one of them okay. and it's going to work out great for you. So there's some great, uh, great deals there and always just our fiber optic program is continuing to grow throughout the panhandle. And uh, you know, we're way ahead. We're way ahead of a lot of, a lot bigger cities than us. Um, and so we just continue to build that out and could try to make the, the panhandle a great place to do business because of that fiber optic so definitely yeah stop by get yourself an iphone 10 or an iphone 8. very good okay one last thing before we go i know you've been in on a lot of our football season and i'm pretty excited to get over to the game later today um do you have any words that you want to talk about as far as aggie football goes our last home game that kind of thing well i i gotta say it's been a lot of fun getting to call the games for the aggies the home games and uh you know, uh, it's just a lot of talent out there. If you, I just say to anybody out there that's watching that maybe hasn't been to a Panhandle State game and you, uh, you don't understand maybe the level of talent that there is, that there is excellent football going on over here, excellent athletes. And right now, Panhandle State's got a great team. And uh, come out and watch them sometime. They're a lot of fun to watch. Very good. Well, we appreciate you calling. That's been fun to get you have to get to have you be a part of that as well. Well, thank you very much. I've enjoyed it. And thank you to PTCI for your continued support of the Chili Cookoff. All right. Thank Best you. Best wishes today. All right. The next contestant is Panhandle Services for Children. We're excited to have you all here today. Thank you. I'll let you introduce yourselves. I'm Terry Barber. I'm Destiny Trailer. And do you want to tell us a little bit about the business first of all? Yes, uh, we are representing Panhandle Services for Children. We are a local nonprofit youth service organization. We cover the entire Oklahoma Panhandle. And we provide services such as counseling, education, um, prevention, and foster care, host homes. We do a little bit of everything for the kids. Very, very nice. Um, anything going on right now that you want to tell us about that you've got going? I know you guys have been hosting different events throughout the year. Yes, um, because we're a nonprofit, we raise our funds by hosting events and fundraisers. Um, a huge need that we have right now is actually foster care homes. We need good families to provide loving, supportive homes for our kids. It's a huge need. We've got a lot of kids in placement and a lot of kids needing homes. If someone is interested in that, what can they do? All they have to do is call us and they can come by and fill out an application and we can get them started. Okay, okay, very nice. Let's talk about the chili. I understand you're the cook. No, actually, I am not this time. My daughter did this cooking and um, she was afraid that my chili would be a little hotter than what most people can tolerate. So she toned it down just a little okay. bit. So Heather, thank you very much for, um, for not <laughs> hurting anybody today. I've heard it's pretty decent. I haven't tried it. Um, it's got good hot New Mexico or spicy New Mexico chili, but not as hot as I would like. Okay, and what's the name you mentioned? Well, it's just kind of a mystery. It, uh, <laughs> um, it just Let's just say it's Heather's chili because she put the work into it. Okay, All very right. nice. Anything else y'all would like to add? I know as an alumni coming back, getting to see all the awesome energy and excitement here today, especially Chili Cook-Off, but in the tailgating zone. I mean, what are your thoughts on the atmosphere right now? I think the atmosphere is great. It has changed completely from when I was in school, and we love the community support that we receive from OPSU now. And as an alumni coming back, it's wonderful to see. Very good. We appreciate you guys being a part of the Chili Cook-Off, and we wish you the best today. Thank you. Come taste some chili in a little while. That's right. right, thank you. <laughs> We're back at the chili cook-off. We've moved on down and we have our next contestant with us. I, I'll let you introduce yourself and tell a little bit about the organization you're with. Okay, I'm Barry Strain. I'm cooking for Anchor D. Okay. 
and we're two years people choice. <laughs> awesome, awesome, very cool. Okay, um, tell us about your team. Do you want to introduce everybody, kind of point them out here in the background? I got my lovely wife, Alicia, that works. Hello. Uh, her boss, Deb, her daughter, <coughs> Mackenzie, and Kayla Helms, Helms Nursery. And I don't know, we're just here having fun. Awesome. How many guys, how many years have y'all participated? Do you know? Oh. It's been a few, hasn't An it? I think Anchor D might have missed the first year I've been doing. This is my fourth year. So Anchor D's been in it from the, almost the beginning. Okay. What about your chili? What can you tell us about it? Is it top secret? No. If you want the recipe, I'll give it to you. <laughs> Anything extra special or neat I, that you want to share about it? I use poblanos. <coughs> And my girls and my family <coughs> do not like hot, so I make this sauce. Okay. And I add it to it, and it makes it good. It makes it real good. It looks like it. You. It looks pretty popular. You're passing out a lot of chili as we speak. People's choice. Two that, years. In that's row. right. That's right. Okay. Um, Anchor D has been an awesome supporter for us. We just recently made the announcement of the. The support that they're giving to the athletic department, and that's going to allow us to do a lot of new things, and we're really excited about that. Is there anything else going on at the bank that you want to mention? No. <laughs> well, we appreciate you being here. We <laughs> love your guys' continued support, and we wish you the best right. people's choice again, right? right. <laughs> uh, I got a lot of... I don't want to say it. <laughs> a lot of people talking. All right, well, good Love luck today. To All right. Thank you. All right, thank you. And we're back. We have one of our awesome faculty members with us now. It's nice Hello. to have you. <laughs> I'm Tino Tramon. Okay, and you want to introduce your team? Yeah. It was uh, myself and Josh Peterson, his wife, and, and children. Just okay. Just as individuals. And, and are you the head know. cook? Or is it total uh, no, team it was, effort? it was a total team effort. Anything special about the chili that you want to share? No, nothing nothing special. We just try to make good chili. Okay. Um, tell us a little bit about what's going on campus. You've had a busy day today. Yeah, we started out with senior day this morning uh, at 9, and then at 10 o'clock we started having tours, uh, and, and biology department, uh, Doc and I were up uh, dissecting uh, pig hearts and lungs. Okay, awesome. So basically, senior day is actually a chance for high schoolers from High school seniors from anywhere and everywhere to come and check out the campus, kind of get a sneak peek, sneak peek at college life, right? Yes. And I think it's awesome that you're giving them such a hands-on, that's very hands-on, chance to see what it's actually going to be like if they want to major in biology, chemistry, whatever it may be, right? Yes. Yeah, if they really get interested and then they like the hands-on aspect of, of dissecting the hearts and, and the lungs and, and, and seeing how things are put together. Okay, what else? Is there anything else you want to share today? Uh, not really. We just came out to see if we can win the chili cook-off. Okay, well best wishes and thank you for being a part of it. Thank you. Next up we have Goodwell Police Department here to win the chili cook-off today, right? Absolutely, thank you. Yeah, we're out here today just to get out in the community and uh, interact. We love the uh, atmosphere and, and the re-energized uh, attitude that's come to the, the university and so we're happy to partake and Hopefully everybody will get to get a taste of our chili and our judges will agree that uh, we should we should do very well today. Uh, one of our other officers took care of all of our desserts for us, so we've got quite the spread here today. Nice, a good team effort. Absolutely, good team effort. Every one of our officers supports the university and we're proud to get support from everybody here. Okay, do you want to go ahead and introduce yourself just in case any of the viewers don't know you and then also tell us who your teammates are? Okay. Uh, I'm Andy Ramirez, I'm Chief of Police here in Goodwill uh, for the Goodwill Police Department. Uh, we've got a four-person full-time uh, crew for the Police Department. Uh, each one of them contributed in their own way. Uh, Officer Gray uh, made all the desserts uh, and the corn muffins to go with our chili. Uh, Officer Causing brought and helped set up and provided a, a lot of the logistic support. And uh, Officer uh, Ramirez will be here a little bit later, but he's going to help serving. Okay, and you guys are such a great partner for us. You work very closely with the school. Is there anything you want to tell us about how all that works? 
Well, our partnership with the school is, is mutually beneficial each way, and it gives us a chance to interact with uh, the students and our future citizens that are going to be helping shape our world. And so if we can make a good partnership with those kids, hopefully they'll take that back to whatever communities they go to from here and, uh, and foster a good understanding and working relationship with their police departments. Well, we appreciate all you do, and we really want to thank you for being a part of the Chili Cook-Off and wish you the best. Thank you very much. We're back and we have another contestant to meet. Good to have you. Hi, Mersha Aranda, CEO Assistant and PR and Marketing Coordinator, here representing Memorial Hospital of Texas County Authority. Um, I have with us our OR Director and Interim CNO, Dondi Rogers. Our PR and Marketing Assistant we have here is Kim Taylor. And then we have our pharmacy tech is Betsy Merwin. Um, our chili today was made by Betsy Merwin and Don Merwin. Um, the special ingredient we have in there today is elk. Oh, fun. Yes. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, um, as an alumni of OPSU, I just um, want to elaborate on how awesome it, the atmosphere has turned into being everybody collaborating together and um, just making it a, a great football atmosphere. I hope we get to do the same for the rest of the athletics and uh, just bond these bridges. Very cool. Yeah, it's nice as an alumni to come back it and is. just see how much it, everything's grown yes. and the atmosphere is so exciting yes. right now. And you played basketball, so I'm sure it's exciting it to think about the it other is. sports and what we can yes. do for them as well. Absolutely it is. Go right. Aggies. That's right. Well, thank you for your time and You're best welcome. wishes today. Thank you. Thanks for being a part of it. You're welcome. We are at the 11th annual Chili Cook-Off here at Panhandle State, and we're joined by one of our tailgating members. Um, I'll let you guys introduce yourselves and tell who you're representing. My name is Karen Esquivel and I'm here representing MedFirst Bank. My name is Wendy Miramontes and I'm the assistant manager at MedFirst Bank. I'm Yamalex Puñoz and I am personal banker at MedFirst Bank. Maria Chavez, our supervisor. We're glad to have you all here today. It's an awesome atmosphere, isn't it? Yes. And the sun has just popped out and it's just being a, turning out to be a great day. Is there anything going on at the bank right now that y'all want to share with us? Yes, right now we have our fall check-in promotion. Uh, if you open an account with us, you get $150. You have to meet two or three requirements. One of them is get a $250 deposit. The other one is use your debit card 20 times in 60 days. And the other one is get three automatic withdrawals taken out of your account. Okay, very good. What else? Anything else coming up later this year that you want to uh, share? No. Are those the, kind of the main things right yeah. now? Our promotion goes on to the end of the year. Okay, very good. Well, it's nice to meet all of you, and we appreciate you being here for the tailgate and, and joining in on all the fun, right? Thank you. Thank, you, so much for Thank us. you. We're here at the 11th Annual Chili Cook-Off, and this is actually your second, second year yeah. to get to be a part of it, and pretty neat. We have what we're told is the largest number of entries, right about 30. Right. So that's very exciting. And I know, so we have a lot going on today. We'll try to break this all down, but Chili Cook-Off wise, I know something you're very passionate about is our involvement here at the university with the community, and this is definitely an event that does that. You wanna speak a bit about that? You bet, thank you first off uh, for doing this I one of the things that I think is crucial for us is to be engaged with the community and this becomes almost like a fall festival for everybody and so we're so excited that everybody's here to have a record number of entries we've got uh, we've got about a hundred uh, high school students from area high schools seniors mm -hmm. on campus today for senior day the the idea is we want to get as much of an environment as we possibly can and I think everybody's gonna be really excited plus our football teams winning we got That's a lot right. of really great uh, projects around campus and so to me, this is as much about momentum as it is about motivation, and we're, we've got a really good momentum going, and so I'm pretty excited. Just a year ago, if you'd have told me that everybody had been running around with all these pea hats on and everything, I, I don't think anybody would have believed us, and now it's just such a blessing. Very good. Okay, you touched a bit about campus. What's going on? What are some of the general updates? Anything big? There's always lots. Yeah. Are there anything that you want to narrow down that you want to share with yeah. us that we have going on right yeah. now? First things first, I think everybody knows that we dedicated our football stadium, and that's going to allow us to do a turf project, and that's going to be a joint project with Goodwill Public Schools and okay. a couple of private donors, and so we're really excited about that. I think it'll allow us to add a couple scholarship programs that are going to be really important to our area, like soccer. 
Okay. So we're very excited about that. We are sleeping in the university house. That's uh, it exciting. is Yeah, it is. Awesome. It's not, uh, we're not really living there. Right now it looks like an explosion of boxes. Uh, but I'd encourage anybody watching this, if they want to see the house, we would love to have people. It's not just our house, it's the university's house. And I think it's something everybody's going to be proud of. Everybody always talks about the shooting range. I think we're about six months from actually breaking ground on okay. that. We've secured the funding for it, which was a big a big deal for me. Right. So now I know it's going to happen. We can just get through all the federal regulations. So that's actually a big one. There's a couple academic things that I think most people don't know about. Right. Um, but we were named uh, fourth uh, college of choice in the state of Oklahoma in this last week. Okay. And then we were also uh, awarded a pilot program, one of two in our state of Oklahoma, mm -hmm. where we'll actually do an early college high school for students who are prepared. Okay. And so to be, in the past we haven't had a lot of those those kinds of programs for the Panhandle, and that's just one way we can really be an impact to our region. So I'm really excited about that. Okay, awesome. And you did mention renaming the stadium. We did, got to speak with Anchor D just a bit ago. Nice. Um, and I know, are there any other details as far as that goes? I mean, it's just very exciting. A huge, a huge donation that's going to allow us to be able to do a lot. Yeah, I, I think we're seeing more support from our community than I think we've seen at least in sort of recent memory and so when you have unprecedented support like that as a leader what I've noticed is people don't when you come into a community the way I have I guess I've been here about 18 months they don't really talk to you they talk about you mm -hmm. and so it you have to look for ways to see if what you're doing is really working and when people are coming out and helping you do some of these things and make your vision come true that's really encouraging I know just going around speaking to different booths, so many of them that we're partnering with and they all have such a huge contribution in their own separate ways. It's really neat to see everybody come together and making things happen right here on campus so that we can reach kids and impact lives. Right. Because that, I mean, that's that's really our business. I, I, I should say one thing. So our grounds and maintenance and custodial crew are doing better than they've done in an awful long time. If you haven't been to campus, you really need to get out here. It's beautiful. And part of that is the attraction. So most people will come to campus to see campus before they ever talk to somebody about coming here. And so the fact that we're at a high level there is just one step better towards success. I know I can't get it out of my mind, but I know we had homecoming a couple of weeks ago and we met, got to see some of the alumni and one of the words that one of the girls used is just her mind was blown to come back and see this atmosphere that's been created and right. we're standing right in the midst of it today. It's just really neat to be a part it of really it. It really is. I want to, before I get off here, we got a couple of guys I'm really excited about. Um, we have two people who actually grew up on this campus. One was the son of a faculty member. Mm -hmm. and the other one is Ryan Bryant, who's the son of our former president. Right. And, and, they're, and they're standing over here. I'm interested in what they're going to say to you about how things have changed since sort of their era here. But we wouldn't be here without your work and the work of people like Justine Gaskamp and Ryan Blanton. You guys have done so much to sort of not just tell our story, but to put a, a, a vibe out there that everybody is, is really doing great things. And I can't thank you enough for that. Well, thank you. There's so much fun stuff, amazing stuff. I mean, we could go on and on, but I'm glad to get to be a part of that and get to share and let everybody know what's happening over here. Very good. Thank you so much. All right. Tonight. Thank you, Dr. Fulton. I know today's a busy day for you, so we appreciate your time. You bet. Have a good one. Thanks. Again, we're at the annual chili cook-off and we have a special treat today. We get to actually take a moment to talk with some alumni. Guys, thanks for joining us. Thank you. My pleasure. I'll let y'all introduce yourselves. Why don't you tell us what you studied while you were here and just a bit of your connection to the university, please. I'm Roger Edenborough. I graduated in 1988 with an accounting degree. Okay. And you've been around here, grew up in Goodwill? Been around the college. Grew up here, graduated from high school here, school here, and now I live here. Okay. My name is Ryan Bryant. I graduated here in 2015 with a bachelor's in biology. Then we've lived in Goodwill since it would be 2003. We moved here when Grandpa David Bryant got the job here, and been here ever since. Okay. Since moved and retired. Okay, cool. I'm anxious to talk to you about the changes that you've seen over the years. Can you? Probably a little bit hard to summarize all of that, but you've been here all your life. What's it like seeing how the university has changed over time? Well, you know, when I was here in the 80s, you wouldn't even recognize this place now. With a combination of the new apartments over right. there, the Noble Center, the Science and Nursing Building, and the other improvements, it's just, it's came a long ways. It really has. What's exciting about this year? I mean, this year, last year, what are some of the changes that you think are really gonna take us to the next level? 
you know, I'm, I am really excited about what Dr. Fulton's been working on with the uh, associate degree program mm -hmm. through the area high schools. I think that's really going to be a good thing. Definitely, definitely. All right, well, we're glad to have you back on campus. Can you fill us in what you've been doing since you graduated? Yeah, sure. So whenever I finished, I went to OSU and started on a master's in soil fertility and then finished that last December. And this summer I started on a PhD in oh, plant wow. breeding. So I've been working on that and I'll be there till December 2019. Okay, so you're that. doing that at OSU right yeah, now? Yeah, at Oklahoma okay. State in Stillwater. Okay, awesome. And while you're here, I mean, something I always thought was super neat, you got to be a part of the a lot of different things, but one of them that definitely sticks out to me is the crops judging team. You guys were very successful while you were here. Yeah, for sure. Dr. Bench, who's a great advisor and teacher for that program, and I can confidently say without him, it'd be so much more difficult at OSU right now studying agronomy related subjects if I didn't have that experience from him. Definitely. So does that play a big part into what you learned here, taking you to the next level and using it now as well? Yeah, I, I definitely say so. Whenever you're here, it's kind of, kind of hard to wrap your head around, okay, all this stuff I'm learning might actually be applicable one day. And then you actually get into the situations where you need it and it kind of hits you and you're kind of reality shook how much you actually learned here and how beneficial your time at OPSU actually was. Can you tell us about your future goals? Do you have something specific in mind or are you just waiting to get done with your doctorate and going from there? Well, kind of the specifics of it. I'd like to work for either Bayer or Monsanto as a plant breeder. And that's kind of the, I guess, the, the big goal with it. And when the time comes, when I graduate, I'll take the steps there to eventually end up in a position like that. Okay, what's it like for you? You grew up on this campus as well, so to speak, for a good part of your youth, and now you're coming back and seeing the atmosphere. Have there been a lot of changes that you can observe just right off stepping back on campus? Well, the first thing I noticed is they tore down my basketball hoop at the house. Oh, man. <laughs> but other than that, I mean, it looks great. The house, it's hardly recognizable. It looks amazing, and the atmosphere on campus at the tailgate and everything, it's... It's pretty awesome. It's a lot of fun, isn't it? Did you get to tour the house already today then? I've been, I haven't toured it today, but I've been through at different phases of the construction and kind of have a general idea of it. But I think I'm actually going to get a tour later to kind of see the finished product and everything. Pretty neat. Okay, anything else y'all can think of that you want to add just about seeing the changes throughout the years? I think it's just great to see the yeah. direction it's going. It's really, it, I think it instills a lot of pride in the students and the alumni to come back and see how well everything's going and how campus looks. One last thing I definitely don't want to miss getting to talk to you about. Recently, um, Dr. Bryant had some exciting news and got a special induction into the Oklahoma Higher Ed Hall of Fame, correct? Can you tell us about that? I know not all of us got to be there that would have liked to have been. I know um, Dr. Fulton and Dr. Manning that was the VP when Dr. Bryant was here, they got to be there, Jill, and some of the other staff got to be there as well, but can you share a little bit about it? Yeah, yeah, it was great. It was, and they held it at the uh, UCO campus in Edmond, and it was really an awesome deal. It was, they had the banquet and the induction, and there were quite a few honorees, and all of them had amazing resumes to build off of. One thing I thought that was unique about Grandpa's is everybody Everybody besides him was either born in Oklahoma or spent their entire career in Oklahoma. Wow. Where he, he's pretty much worked all throughout the Western United States from a range of positions as a professor up to the president. And he was the only one who hadn't spent his entire career in Oklahoma where he'd only spent 13 years here and still managed to get inducted into the Hall of Fame, which I feel like that speaks volumes of definitely. his accomplishments and his work. Definitely. He's definitely a huge part of where this university is today, and I'm so proud to have gotten to get to work for him and learn from his leadership. Yeah, he's a great example for everybody. He kept Tyler and I in line. <laughs> well, we're glad to have you all, and you guys kind of, I guess this is a bit of a reunion for you guys as well, an office reunion maybe, so to speak. You guys kind of go back, you've worked together for a few years. Yes, Ryan worked for us for three years. Basically the son Roger always wanted. <laughs> so it's good to get to be together and talk a little bit and just hang out in this atmosphere, right? Yes, it is, for sure. Well, thank you for y'all's time and have a great time today. We appreciate you guys being here. Thanks. All right, thank you. Thank you. Next up we have SOEA, an organization here on campus. Good morning, girls. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. I'll let y'all introduce yourselves. Okay, um, my name is Nancy Melendez. I'm a senior here and I'm doing mathematics education. Okay. 
my name is Casey Campbell. I am a uh, sophomore here and I am an elementary education major with an English minor. Okay, tell me about SOEA. For our viewers that aren't familiar with it, I know you guys are a super active organization on campus. Tell us about, about it. So SOEA, um, it stands for a Student Oklahoma Education Association. Okay. So we are here mainly to support our educators. We are working towards making a better future for our students right now and the ones that are yet to come. So we focus on that. We try to be very active in school to show that we can do a lot of things and we try to be a part of the society because that's what our job entitles, just to become part of the society and build a better future for all of us. Definitely, and y'all do from community service. I know you do the cleanup on the roads. You do things at the area schools. Um, conferences, you yes. name it, lots of different things. Yeah, which actually that's one of our main big goals next semester is our spring conference where we do outreach to teach, which is go mm -hmm. and do physical labor work yes. at schools where they need a little bit of improvement and give them a little sense of ownership and be proud of where they attend schools. I know last year it was really neat to see when they traveled, I believe it was the Tulsa area and got yes. to do some painting and just yes. the difference it made for those students. It was amazing. Yes, uh, one of the experiences we had, we got to do a guardian for the students and they all got to um, paint their fingerprints mm -hmm. on the sides. So they all feel very proud. They got to say that that was theirs and some that they got to be there. Yes. So that is very neat. We love what we do here and we're just making the best of it right now. Very cool. Well, we are at the chili cook-off. Is there anything you want to share about your chili? Well, we got our advisor that made our chili today. It's really good. So number eight, guys. <laughs> no. amazing. Vote number eight. The minerals too. Yeah. Okay. Any secret ingredients you want to talk about? Well, it's secret for a reason, so that's not... <laughs> You just have to come and try it, right? Yeah, just come and try it, enjoy it, have a cinema roll, like she said, and vote number eight. For okay, okay. Thank y'all for your time. Have a great semester, and thank you for being a part of the Chili Cook-Off. Thank, thank you. you. I'll let you guys introduce yourselves and tell us who you're representing. Okay. I'm Kyle Hawkins with Edward Jones, and this is J.W. Silvey. J.W. Silvey. Sorry, I introduced him for him. <laughs> that was nice of you. Uh, yes, he appreciates it. Um, anything about Edward Jones that you want to share? Anything special? I'm just excited to be here at the college. Uh, I think the college is a wonderful part of our community and just love being over here and seeing the great crowd. Very good. Okay, you guys are both alumni. Glad to have you here. Is there anything alumni-wise coming back and seeing the atmosphere? Anything you want to share? Things you're excited about? That type of thing? I'm very excited about everything that's been going on, uh, changes that's happened since we was here. Um, love the tailgating, love the spirit that everyone's bringing out, fun. the community really coming in behind, back in Panhandle. I, it's fun. I enjoy it. It is, and this is definitely one of those events that it's great. I mean, it's in the 11th year. It's neat to see how much it's grown and neat just to bring the community out, tie everybody together, and then hopefully, I mean, later today, it's going to be fun to go watch some Austin football too, right? That's right. That's right. What about the chili? Are there secret ingredients? Anything special that you want to tell us about? Do, do we want to give a secret? It's all. Yeah. It's a very big secret. <laughs> who's the secret. Who's the cook? Group all effort. Both of them. Group yeah, effort. It's kind of a refrigerated <laughs> chili. <laughs> okay. Well, we're very thankful for you guys for being a part of it, and we appreciate your time, and wish you the best today. Thanks for having Thank us. Thank you. We're back with our next contestant. I'll let you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about who you're representing. Okay. My name is Vicki Wilson and I'm really, we're really just representing ourselves. It's a family competition. Um, that's my son and that's my husband over there. So we do a, a family thing on Chili Cook-Off. So are you all separate entries then? Yes, we are. Are there any high stakes for who's ever chosen as the better one? Bragging rights at Christmas, I think. Oh, that, that's, that, that's a big deal. <laughs> okay, and we have an alumni with us as part of this team as well. Uh, yeah, I'm Darcy Wilson. Uh, I recently graduated in May with a degree in health and physical education, and now I am attending the Master of Athletic Training program at Texas Tech. Very good. Well, we're glad to have you part of this as well. And you guys, this is not your first year. You've been here doing this for a while. For five years. Very good. Yeah. We're thankful for all your support. Thank you. Is there anything about your chili? Any secrets? You might not be able to say that since <laughs> the family might hear, but anything about them you want to say? It really isn't. It's just the chili that I've been making for, for a long time, so that's nothing special. 
Well, thank you for joining us and for continually supporting the cook-off, and we wish you the best. Thank you very much. We're back. We've moved on down, and we have Larry Jeffess with us today. Thanks for joining us. You bet. Tell us a little bit about who you're representing and your team. Oh, we're just ourselves. Uh, myself, Larry Jeffess, and my wife, Tammy. She's not here yet. Steve Lindsay over here. He's a, <coughs> he's the head barker. <laughs> is he running the show? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, and this isn't your first chili cook-off either. You've been doing this for several years, right? Yes, that's correct. And you have a lot of special things, I feel like, going on. Any secret ingredients with the chili? We can talk about that first. Anything that wise well, you want to share? Well, it'd be illegal if I told you. Yes. So, you know. <laughs> that's a secret, right? You're supposed to admit cannabis or anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> so we won't. Okay, what about, I, I see some cherry cobbler or some peach cobbler. Peach cobbler, yeah. And that looks pretty awesome. Yeah, that's, that's for bribe. You know. That brings them over? Yeah, it gets votes, you know, how, how it works. Okay, one other thing. You guys are here bright and early each year, and you do breakfast, right? Yes, yes that's correct. Lanny Wilson and myself and some of the others, Chuck. Uh, we uh, last two years we've done breakfast burritos. That's exciting. That's really nice of you guys to do that for everyone. Well, we're happy to. How many years have you been participating? Five, probably. I don't remember for sure. Okay. Like okay. Well, is there anything else you want to leave us with before we go? I don't guess. Okay. Well, thank you for your continued support and best wishes in the competition. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, at this time, again, we would like to recognize our game day sponsor, the fine folks at PTCI. If you'd turn your attention to the middle of the field as we get ready for a special presentation, as Panhandle State President, Dr. Tim Fulton and Athletic Director, Megan Mulcahy will present a signed football poster as a token of appreciation. Representing PTCI today, some of the fine folks, Sean and Nancy Hansen, Mitzi Dane, Jason Epp, also Emmanuel D. Herrera, Sean Barbary, Ross Holland, Courtney White, Travis Clark, also Cassie Pavlicek, Terry Branson, Jason Whitfield, and Roberto Barrera. All of these are representing PTCI. So again, how about a round of applause for our great game day sponsor, the fine folks at PTCI. All right, we would like to now announce the winners of our annual Chili Cook-Off. The People's Choice Award this year goes to Anchor D Bank. So the awards. Best Chili by the judges. First place goes to Images. Second place goes to PTCI. And third place goes to Anchor D Bank. And also one other that we need to announce for the best presentation. That will go to PBL and AITP. So again, congratulations, folks. If you didn't get a chance to try some of the chili, you missed out on a great opportunity. Thank you for joining us for the 11th Annual Chili Cook-Off. We hope you've enjoyed it. You'll find a list of your winners right here. And that's what's happening on campus. Mm -hmm.